We are honored to welcome the seventh president and vice chancellor to the University of Waterloo. The 19 members of the presidential nominating committee worked for over 11 months to identify the qualities and values that are important for our next president. We sought a candidate renowned for their experienced leadership, someone that is committed to the success of our world-class faculty, staff, students, and alumni. We looked for an individual who will actively engage to build trust, foster equity, diversity, and inclusion, as well as a deep sense of community across our campuses. We were looking for an innovator who will boldly take Waterloo to new heights as we connect imagination to impact and who lives our values of curiosity, courage, engagement, and belonging. So on behalf of the University of Waterloo Board of Governors, I am honored to welcome Vivek Goel, who will serve as the seventh president and vice chancellor of the University of Waterloo. Dr. Goel is a distinguished scholar with an extensive background in teaching, research, and university administration. Dr. Goel is recognized in Canada and around the world for his extensive public health research and expertise focused on health services evaluation. He has held senior roles at the University of Toronto, including as Vice President and Provost and Vice President Research and Innovation. As our next leader, Dr. Goyal will ensure that Waterloo continues to advance as a leader in cooperative education, entrepreneurship, and industry-focused interdisciplinary research. To the Waterloo community, Thank you for this opportunity. I'm extraordinarily proud and humbled to continue my career at a place that is so well respected in Canada and around the world. Waterloo is exceptional because of its history and its culture. It's a culture of innovation, of bold action, of entrepreneurship, and it's really been able to make an impact on society. I'm choosing to come to Waterloo now because in the midst of a global pandemic, it's our institutions of higher education that can really play an important role in education and research in helping with the recovery and ensuring that our society is more resilient in the future. We are living in very challenging times and people's lives have been disrupted in many ways. Post-pandemic university is really going to have to adapt to the world that we are now in. First of all, we have to think about how we use technology in delivering our programs to students right around the world at all their stages of life. Second, we have to think about the research that needs to be done in order to tackle the really large problems that society faces. And Waterloo, with its history of innovation, is well positioned to lead on both areas. What I've heard about Waterloo students is their energy, their creativity, and their passion people that want to have an entrepreneurial career, that want to innovate, that want to take risks, are attracted to come to Waterloo. My experience of researchers at Waterloo is that they are people that want to collaborate, they want to work across disciplines, they want to work with partners outside of the academy, and they want to have an impact with their research. Advancing anti-racism work is critical for universities. They are the place in society that can take leadership on these matters. In order to ensure the success of all individuals at Waterloo, we have to start by confronting the history of colonialism that has challenged so many people, particularly Black, Indigenous, and people of color. I'm both inspired by your ambitions and eager to join you on this transformational journey of discovery, growth, and global impact. Abojo, Ani, Sego, Scano, Wache, Tanzi, Kwekwe. Congratulations and welcome to the University of Waterloo. We are known across the globe as an institution of innovation. Let's innovate inclusion, innovate belonging. Let's innovate equity. As a member of the Black Faculty Collective, I think that's really important for the work of the next 10 years ahead of us. Being a student on this campus has meant a lot of opportunities to work with my peers and advance my personal goals for my career to be the best person that I can be when I leave this campus. 
You're part of a really diverse community. There's students from all over the world coming here with rich experiences. So it's great to be part of that community. I would say it's sensible to look not just in the obvious places. Look in the corners of the university, look for excellence everywhere. The university has great skills in the things we're famous for, but it's also amazing in the areas that maybe aren't as obvious or aren't as known. The university of Waterloo is full of great ideas from all six faculties, from all parts of campus, and from all of our campuses. I look forward to working with you in the coming years to address the recommendations of the TRC and to decolonize and indigenize the University of Waterloo. UW is a place that has a lot of entrepreneurial spirit, a lot of get-go, full of risk-takers and the smartest students across the world. From the alumni perspective, we're thrilled to have you. Put us to work, let us know how we can help. I'm so pleased to join you all today as we announce the seventh president of the University of Waterloo. Vivek, congratulations and welcome to the Waterloo community. It has been an honor to serve our community of students, faculty, staff, and alumni during my tenure as president of the University of Waterloo. Our university is a place where business, community, and governmental leaders come together to seek today's solutions to tomorrow's problems. It is a place that creates change through creativity, collaboration, and determination. Vivek, I am confident that under your leadership, our community will continue to flourish. I know that by working together, the University of Waterloo will continue to move forward and be a driver of even greater impact around the world. I'm grateful for the warm reception. I look forward to meeting with students, faculty, staff, alumni, and members of the community in the months to come. Thank you.